All right, so here's my teacup Sterling engine that I built from the plans in Make Volume 17. I want to go over a couple of things to make your build a little bit easier. First thing I want to show you is that I use some really high quality oil and I actually added a drop inside the piston. I add a drop here where the displacer goes through. I also add a drop here on my standoffs and even all the joints. This makes it really, really smooth. You can see. That should be pretty good. So now all we have to do is add the hot water. I also put some ice on top to make a greater difference in temperature. Before we do that, let me show you a couple other things. This is your crankshaft. Uh, in the instructions it says the dimensions that you should use. I actually used a little bit different dimensions. This one is about 0.15 in an offset. This one says it should be about 0.25. It's actually more like 0.15. It's almost the same. It's just slightly larger. Um, also, you can see I didn't actually cast the JB Weld in the loops of my wire. I used all stainless, and I was able to get it wrapped around really well. And with the oil, there's really just no friction. So I saved myself a step. Um, if you're using regular wire uh, or you can't bend it that accurately, you might want to go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get some hot water and some ice and see if it works. Okay, I've got my hot water and I've got the ice. So the first thing I like to do is put some ice on the top. And I do this because it will cool it way down before I even add the heat. It seems to run the best that way. You don't have to add ice. I actually got it to run without the ice, but with the ice, it just makes it easier. And since I'm shooting a video, might as well make it as easy as possible. So, I have my hot cup of water. Let's go ahead and add this underneath, and hopefully it will start running in just a few seconds. It wants to go. You know what? I think I'm going to give it another try. I'm going to get some more hot water, and that should solve the problem. All right, I got a new cup of boiling water and uh, replenished the ice on top. Let's give it a try again. basically running. I'm just getting it over one little spot. There we go. And it runs. Told you it would work. You just got to be patient. 